Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art, and um, this is just a quick rant because I'm busting at the guts. We're headed into 2016, the five-year mark of Fukushima, um, and most of the people that follow my vlog are actually uh, follow Kevin Blanche, follow Thomas Ackerman, follow Dana Durmford, follow Miss Milky the Clown, all of us who have gotten our courage up to make videos and post for what and however we all do it it's we're all driven by one fact that we are being thrown off the cliff by nuclear liars by technologists who don't care about the cost of human life or the cost of our planet all they care about is money um, what is going on in st. Louis is an outrage this book by Dr. John Goffman was written a really while back, 1970, I think it says. Uh, but let me just tell you what this says. Because in here, we do not need lifetime fatal cancer yield calculation and deduction. These are scientific books that we have on the books. We These are scientific studies that we know. Dana Durnford spends every single day of his life now streaming and vlogging uh, it, while he's being attacked by the nuclear industry, I might add. He is streaming and vlogging and showing us resources that we can go to. And because he can't get into them, we can't read all of these articles because they're being held by the nuclear monsters. We know for a fact that radiation is killing people. We know for a fact that the uranium that was processed in St. Louis during the Manhattan Project was finer than powdered sugar. We know that for a fact. And we also know that there were spills into the Coldwater Creek many years ago. And we also know that it's leaking out of Westlake Landfill. And we also know that Missouri has just been flooded. All that uranium, finer than sh powdered sugar, is going everywhere, all over St. Louis. The cancer rates are off the charts. And our cowardly elected officials are cowering to the nuclear monsters who are saying, don't worry. And guess what? You know what I really think? I think the NRC is going to come out this year and say, oh, guess around 311. Just wait for it. It's going to be 311.11 when they're going to come out with it. Fukushima, out in Fukushima, TEPCO is going to announce, Japan's going to announce on the fifth year anniversary that they have decided that the radiation is just not going to harm anything and they're going to pour all that water into the ocean you just wait and the nrc is going to endorse the hormesis theory because those people are nothing but emotional cowards and now they're murderers this is exactly how hitler murdered millions of people exactly with the parliament that Hitler had a whole slew of government behind him. He had a bunch of people who could have easily taken him out, and they chose not to. This is how societies and civilizations are murdered, and that's exactly what they're doing with us now. And the people of St. Louis are apologizing because they want to be moved out of there. In fact, they what they're asking for is to have the radiation removed. Hello? It's not moving. You need to move out of there. All of St. Louis is a fucking wastebasket. If you live there, you are going to have genetically mutated children. You will have cancer. You will die of heart attacks. Your autism rate, the schizophrenia rate, everything is off the chart. Do Dr. John Goffman has proved multiple, multiple studies. Look at this book. Radiation and Human Health. Great science. Look how fat this book is. You think this guy hasn't done his work? This is a compilation. What does it say? A comprehensive investigation to the evidence relating low-level radiation to cancer and other diseases. It's not just cancer. It's schizophrenia. It's diabetes. It's all kinds of things. And these people know it. We have, Unfortunately, we are in the soup, folks. We have got to get our elected officials off their asses and get them to acknowledge that we need to stop the train altogether on the nuclear pollution and we need to stop, just stop all the nuclear power plants. And if that means that we use less electricity, which it won't because we could 
easily, easily, easily go to the alternatives that have been developed. Maybe in 1970 we didn't have it, but you know what? In 2016, we have the ability to completely stop all nuclear power plants and stop all the pollution, and no one will suffer. What are they telling us right now? Indian Point, they don't want to shut down Indian Point in New York, even though it's leaking tritium into the groundwater for the last three to five years. Why? Isn't that kind of ironic? We've known about this fire in St. Louis for three to five years. We've known about the leaking tritium for three to five years. We've known about Bechtel up in Hanford dumping the nuclear pollution for three to five years. We're coming on five years now for Fukushima. I don't know about you, but this just raw, just gets in my guts. I mean, it, we don't need more studies. I mean, I am making every effort I can to not swear. I, I mean, it is almost impossible for the F word to just not fall out of my mouth. The incompetence, the grotesque, cowardly, cow, they're not even incompetent. They are cowards. Our elected officials, if, if it means that they have to put their life on the line to save their community, that's what they need to do. For Republic Services to pay $50,000 to the Republicans in Missouri, the Republican Senate, State Senate, and the Republican State Representatives, they paid them $50,000. That's all it's taking to get the Republicans to start doing this whole campaign to tell the people of St. Louis that they're off their rockers. Don't worry, there's one woman from their services even tweeted, okay, St. Louis moms, your 30-minute television show is over, reality show. How effing insulting is that to women who are losing their babies? To people who are losing their children at 25, 18, 17, 12, 9 years old, off the charts in St. Louis, and our government has said nothing, nothing. And the people of St. Louis, you know what they're doing? They're apologizing because, oh, well, we just need to get the studies in. No, they don't need to get the studies in. They need to sit in the offices of their elected officials, Governor Jay Nixon's office. They need to invade his office and refuse to go away until he stops being a coward and a paid-for politician and puts public health before profits. That has to be our motto for 2016, public health before profits. It is an outrage. It's so beyond outrageous. And you know what? We're called the lunatics. We we are called the lunatics. We're called the lunatic fringe, even by the anti-nuclear, anti-nuclear people. I mean, Kevin Blatt calls them whores and all kinds of names. You know what it is? He's right about it. They have a vested interest in keeping the nuclear industry going. Because what would happen if they shut down every single nuclear power plant tomorrow? Kevin Camps would have to get a new freaking job because his sorry ass is not demanding the complete shutdown. Kay Dry lives in St. Louis. And she's like, oh, well, we don't want it to become a major catastrophe. Really, Kay? It's already a major catastrophe. These are the anti-nukers. I mean, for God's sakes. Libby Halevi regurgitating the bullshit lies about Dana Durnford on her own radio show put off more than half of the people, at least half of her followers now. People won't even take her seriously because she didn't even do her job. And guess what? None of those people that I just mentioned and talked about, not one of them will ever see this video because they don't give a flying fuck about us. Excuse my language once again. But the people of St. Louis, they're not going to watch this video. They're out there apologizing with Craig K. Dry because they just want to have their family safe. They just want the nuclear pollution taken away. That's not how it works. If your children survive this round of nuclear pollution, their children will not. It is cumulative. It, we know for a fact it takes four generations for the real harm for nuclear pollution to show up. It takes five to ten years for the cancers to show up, the leukemias. Autism, we know that babies in utero are most exposed. So all of those little babies, all those children, all the miscarriages... I mean, it is an outrage that our elected officials, in fact, I think I'm going to send this video to my elected officials because they have got to stop being cowards. I'm going to make it 
an email out of this and send it to them and tell them this is exactly what I think. Stop being cowards. If it means that you get shot in the back by the nuclear cartel or your car gets run off and Karen Silkwooded, that's what it's going to take. It's going to take a political revolution from inside the politics. This is what Bernie wants. Bernie wants a political revolution. Well, guess what, Bernie? It's not going to happen unless we get the people who are making decisions to stop, to stop to put people over profits. This is just such an outrage. This is an imperative thing, you guys. We need to take over public offices just like they did. You notice in Oregon, these guys out there taking over the BLM land? The media, because they're white and because they're, quote, Christians, they're calling them peaceful protesters. They're packed with fucking guns. Excuse my language again, but they're peaceful protesters. The outrage, the complete insanity of what is going on in our country. We have got to take over these elected offices. We have got to organize and sit our asses down and make people aware. Now, how do we do that? I don't know. I live in so-called Eugene, an activist community. The only people I know that ever show up for anything anti-nuclear is Rick Gold of Eugene Peaceworks and his little gang of two or three people and their old time hippies that can't even freaking use the internet right never never get engaged with anything beyond their little scope it's such an outrage you guys honestly I'm going to keep pressing through. I'm going to send this video, and I, I am going to organize. I am going to make an effort to organize some people to continually protest every month, every week. We need to get in their faces. And to the people of St. Louis, you guys need to park yourself on Governor Jay Nixon's office. And you need to say, declare a state of emergency in the Westlake Landfill and at Bridgeton and buy out our houses. You know, the thing is, they have done it before in St. Louis. They did buy out houses. S students at a school were dying. They closed the school down and the government bought all their houses out. So this is not new. The government knows all about it. But you know what they care about? Profit over people. This is not the United States of America where... We have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is the United States of corporations where we are assets on their balance sheets. And the only way that we're going to change that paradigm is for us to decide to make it happen. So I hope that many of you will do this. And I know it's going to take some courage because we're going to be rid we are ridiculed by the nuclear pro propagand propagandists and by the, quote, anti-nukers who could give a flying about us. They could care less whether we live or die and in fact they probably hope we go away. So you know Kevin Blanche is honestly so naive sometimes. He thinks that when he talked to that lady Lucy Liu or whatever her name was she was going to call him. You know he can't understand. I mean honestly they don't want us they don't want us in their industry. They don't want us YouTubers poking them in the eye saying, how come you guys have been at this for 40 years and have gotten nothing done? It takes Donna Gilmore to discover that we have been storing our nuclear waste in half inch thick containers. A woman who thought she was going to retire. Where are these anti-nuclear activists? Where is Greenpeace? Where is Beyond Nuclear? Where are they? You know where they are? They're dining with the NRC. They're having cocktails. That's what they're doing. And so, no, we're not going to be part of them because, you know what? They need an education. Obviously, they have forgotten about this. Or maybe it matter, Maybe it, what matters to them is how many people die. Maybe they need a million people to die before Kevin Camps from Beyond Nuclear will go in and say, hey, wait a minute. St. Louis is being horrendously poisoned. New York is being horrendous. There is no, do you know that in New York City, there is absolutely no plan for evacuation in case Indian Point blows up or has some problem. Zero. Zero plan to get out millions and millions of people. There's no way to do it. They'd all just freaking die if something happened. Just like all of us. And frankly, I think the nuclear industry is just waiting for it to happen. They can't wait for us to shut the fuck up. So... This is my first video rant of 2016. And I wanted to kind of give a more thoughtful rant, but you know what? I can't because I'm just like, 
when I recognize that the nuclear industry and the anti-nuclear industry, and I'm going to call it an industry because those guys have been getting a salary for 40 years from somewhere, they're on the same page, folks. They are not interested in shut. Kevin is right. Kevin Blanche is right about that. They have not been interested in shutting it down. They have been interested in slowing it down. Not shutting it down, slowing it down. Uh, when I contacted uh, Radcliffe from, Dave Radcliffe from, what's he's got some anti-nuclear site. I wanted to interview him. He owns the rights to this book. And he thought, wow, that's really cool. He gave a big dissertation, never called me back, because guess what? We don't matter. I'm still going to pursue him for a radio interview. But these are the people that actually, in my view, <laughs> complicit, just as complicit as our elected officials who are cowards. I mean, my own senator, my own senator, Jeff Merkley, put up a really great piece of legislation trying to amend the Price-Anderson Act. He got browbeaten by my other own senator, Ron Wyden, and the Republican head, uh, McC uh, McConnell. And since then, he's pretty much shut up. He's kind of gotten the, he's gotten the memo, shut up, shut up, or you will never be reelected. Shut up. Or you lose your job, or worse, your kids disappear, or worse, you disappear. Or maybe even worse, you'll never work again. Or worse, we'll out some illegal thing you've done in your past and that, you know, so you can't make any more. I mean, the collusion, the corruption. So we're dealing not only with nuclear pollution, unprecedented nuclear pollution. Five years in Fukushima, and I guarantee you that they're going to start dumping that water into the Pacific. That's going to be their big announcement. And I guarantee you, I can, I can feel it. The NRC is going to accept the hormesis theory. And when that happens, we need to jump up and down. In fact, before that happens, we need to be jumping up and down and make sure our elected officials know that that's... Uh, basically, we might as well be putting a gun to every single child in this country. These people are murderers. Literally murderers. Nuclear apologists are murderers. That's what they are. Because the science is here. We know it for a fact. It is not worth the risk. Energy is not worth the risk of killing the entire planet, you stupid fucks. I swear to God. It is really hard for me not to cuss over this issue. Because the grotesque, the grotesque cowardice and lying and lack of humanity is unbelievable. This is what we're going to give our children in the future. I'm organizing this year. I'm going to start doing sit-ins and protests in my spare time. I don't know how much. After I read this book, I don't know how much I'm going to be coming to YouTube. I don't think I'm going to read another book for a while. So that I have time to protest. Thing is, between working, going to school, the radio show, there's not a lot of time. And if I do this readings, there's just not a lot of time for me to do any type of activism. So I have to eliminate the readings, I think. I'll do, I'll do rants every once in a while, but I cannot be committed to reading books. Especially when, really, the books are there. People could read them. You can, I don't know if we can get them on tape. That's the thing. That's why I read these books. I might, I, might t I might decide after a minute that I should read another book. But at this point, I think I'm not going to because we need to activate. We need to be sitting in offices. We need to be going to city councils. We need to imp be impressing the facts. I'm going to bring a lot of these facts of this book to my elected officials. I guarantee it. I'm not going to be writing letters. I'm not going to just be calling because calling, well, thank you very much, click. At least we have a piece of paper. Just like this video, I'm sending this video to my elected officials. And I don't care. Like, I've already been investigated. We're already on the shit list. So who cares at this point? What are they going to do? Kill me? Okay. I mean, really, if that's what they feel like killing, you know, a people who are just speaking up for humanity, speaking up for children getting cancer at five, six, seven years old, dying of cancer at seven, eight, nine. Where's their humanity, man? So I guess this is the year where we uh, get our humanity back and we get our courage back and we stand up because you know what? We don't have a choice, folks. 
It's time to save the planet. Ciao.